Today I'm going to show you how to take a beautiful Blackbird Farm brisket and turn it into a piece of corned beef. It doesn't only have to be for St. Patrick's Day in March, you can do this all year round. It's also the first step in making pastrami too, but that's another show. So, what do we have? Brisket. This is about three pounds. You know, we're going on a little small size, it's just my family, but five pounds is the average size of a piece of brisket from Blackbird Farm. Kosher salt. Spice mix. We've got juniper berries, allspice, bay leaves as you can see there, mustard seeds, coriander seeds, cloves, and uh, black peppercorns. I'll put all this in, down in the uh, just directions, uh, down in the uh, description part of the YouTube video. If you're watching this on Facebook or Instagram, go over to the Eat Drink RI YouTube channel, find the corned beef video, and you'll find the recipe for that as well. I uh, also got brown sugar. In here I got six cloves of crushed garlic and some crushed uh, shredded uh, ginger, grated ginger. And this is pink salt. This is not, uh, not chemicals, it's just some nitrates, it's pink, so that you don't accidentally ingest this in place of regular salt. You cannot ingest pink salt uh, regularly, uh, but uh, it's a nice, uh, nice pink color. And really the stout is just uh, here to drink. Mmm, good stuff, good stuff. And of course, the most important part of a brine is the liquid water. Uh, we've got here 8,000 milliliters, 8 liters of water, but I have it broken up into 6,000 liters, 6,000 grams, I do everything by weight, of water and 2,000 grams of ice, uh, which I'll then add to the brine to cool it down after we make the brine. So let's put that over there. Let's turn our stove on. Nice and hot. We're going to bring this to a boil. Let's dump in our kosher salt, pink salt, brown sugar. Let's dry a little bit. Let's. Uh, there we go. Don't worry about it being in one block. Once it boils, it'll all dissolve. Those cloves and the ginger, and then of course our spice mix. So we're going to bring that to a boil, let it uh, steep for a little bit in the boil, turn it off, let it cool a little bit, and then they add the, add the ice to really cool it down, and then we'll add this gorgeous piece of brisket to brine. Okay, while we're waiting for this to come to a boil, let's talk about what we do with that brisket after it brines. So this is going to come to a boil, we're going to, like I said, add the ice to cool it down, great spot to keep the beer while we're waiting for the uh, boil, and uh, put the brisket in. We're going to might have to submerge that brisket weighed down with something. Uh, I use a plate usually. You're going to keep it in this pot, submerged, put the pot in the fridge for seven days. Five to seven days, but seven days is the average, depending on your size of brisket. Like I said, this one's around three pounds, so I might do five days. Five pound brisket, I'd do seven days. Every couple days, check on it. Make sure it's spinning around in there. It's getting a good brine into the brisket keep the plate on it to keep it submerged, and like I said, keep it in the fridge for five to seven days, depending on the size of the brisket. After it's all done, you're gonna to wanna to take it out, give it a good rinse, put it in the sink, rinse off all that brine, and then it's up to you how you like to cook it. Me, you know, I got a little, little nutty, but one of the best ways to cook a brisket is sous vide. Seal it up in a bag, put it in the, uh, Merge the circulator in the water in the merge circulator for a day and it just comes out beautifully. But of course you could always boil it, which is the traditional method, steam it in the oven with a, with a few inches of water under it. It really is up to you on how you want to cook it once it becomes corned beef. Then of course you can use that liquid to cook your vegetables and things of that nature as well. And of course, lots of stout. Heck, you want to steam it in stout? Steam it in stout. Nothing wrong with that. So we're almost at a boil here. Like I said, once it comes to a boil, I'll give it a little stir. Make sure everything in there is dissolved. It's really the brown sugar and the salt, kosher salt that we're concerned with. To make sure it's dissolved. Get all the spices off of there. And add the ice, put it in the fridge. Make sure everything's cool before you do all that. Make sure the brine is cool before you put the brisket in it because you don't want to start cooking the brisket and make sure the pot is cool before you put it in the fridge. But really, adding all this ice should take care of that.
Now that this part is cool to touch, you can see, nice and cool. Take your beautiful piece of brisket, drop it in the brine. As I mentioned, weigh it down with the plate. Move that plate around a bit so it stays under there. Lit it up and put this in the fridge. And that's it. It really is as easy as that. A bunch of spices, salt, brown sugar, pink salt if you want, it is optional. Water and ice, beautiful brisket from Blackbird Farm or any local farm will do. And you can have corned beef in seven days. Thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Again, if you're looking for the recipe, it's down there in the description box on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel if you can. Please hit the like button, leave a comment, ask me questions, all that good YouTube stuff. I really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Take care.